Good afternoon, visitors. The Duluth area lift bridge is currently lifting to its full height of 135 feet for the departure of the John G. Munson. from the John G. Munson to the bridge. It's known as the Master's Salute. It is three long and two short blasts. If you see any crew on aboard the Munson, make sure you give them a wave and wish them a safe trip. Today, they are on their way with iron ore pellets, which they got from Canadian National Duluth. The John G. Munson was built in 1952 by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measures 768 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a single 8,000 horsepower, six-cylinder Mack diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. Once again, if you see any crew on crew on board, make sure you give them a big wave. The Munson has 22 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 48 by 17 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 25,600 tons, and above her deck, the giant thing that looks like a crane, is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 5,600 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The John G. Munson is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also of Duluth. Earlier, I had mentioned how the innovator will be following the Munson. While this is true, she did announce to the harbor that her departure will be delayed, just by a little bit though. So shortly, we will be expecting the Algoma Innovator to leave their dock at Compass Minerals, and we are also expecting the Masabi Miner, which is the boat which has been anchored outside past the lighthouse. We're also expecting that boat to be coming in. They're going to be taking the Munson's place. They wish to get iron ore pellets from Canadian National Duluth. But once again, if you'd like to stick around, the show's still going to happen. <laughs> 